Hello, <laughs> YouTube Tyroke here, and I am extremely excited because we actually have some confirmation. Well, not confirmation. It's official. The Vita is getting some love when it comes to first-person shooters and DLC. Now. We all know Black Ops Declassified, there were people, even though the game was terrible, people still wanted to see if they were going to make some DLC to make it better, if they were going to bring zombies on it, if they were going to do anything, and they didn't do a fucking thing. So, with Kills on Mercenary, people were expecting the same thing, like, are they going to bring us some DLC because these six maps, they're good, but we need some more, like, we just need something else. And they're finally supplying us with that. We're actually getting, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description to the uh, PlayStation blog or whatever that they're showing. Basically, I'm going to read this title off, new Kills on Mercenary updates coming, free multiplayer maps that gave me a boner one of the people on my last video um i don't know if he's a subscriber or not if he is um thank you for uh just thank you in general for sharing that link with me and they just put it out today and i had to check it out for myself so shout out to you and um basically i'm gonna read off the updates that they're gonna do and <laughs> it's just so crazy okay i'm gonna go ahead and read off update three because we already had two one of the changes that they are making, you know, they're reducing the amount of the, like, patch sizes. Like, you know, they're like a gig, and now they're going to be about a good 800 megabytes. So they're reducing the, the sides on them, so that's more manageable, so you don't have to have a lot of space taken out. And then, update 4, which is due in January, is being designed to improve matchmaking and uh, joining game connectivity problems, like, basically gone. And they're adding auto team rebalancing feature, because it's kind of sucky when you have a whole team of aces going against a whole team of, like, fives and sixes and stuff like that. But I recently got an ace, so I'm happy, but, um... Yeah, they need to do that because it can't just be a blowout with every single team. Even though that's that's what some people would want, but you gotta have some balance. But um anyway, now the following update after that, which is update five, the big one, which is what they said, um, it's gonna have this gave me a boner, it's gonna have two new free multiplayer maps in the update. And they're gonna release Offline bot zone for mercenary and guerrilla warfare mode. It's not gonna have war zone. Bot, just basically bot zone. They're gonna have, and if you've never played Kills on One, they had um, they basically had bots in. It. I forgot what it was called. It was all it was offline something. It was I don't even know. But they had bots, and I used to play it all the time because I got it Kills on when it was like kind of oldish and nobody really, and I didn't have uh, the online for PlayStation, so I would always play like the bot zone and stuff like that and it was so much fun and I loved it. The fact that they're putting that on the Vita is a great it's a great addition because sometimes if you're on the go and you're like in a car or something or like in a back seat or just you know, just taking just anywhere without an internet connection, you would like to play it just because of the fact that it gives you that multiplayer feel even though it's not a hundred percent the multiplayer feel but then again it's going to provide you with something more than just the contracts mode it's going to actually give you another it's going to add more replay value to it even when you're offline which is i think was a smart decision that they made i wish somewhere in these updates that they would have said yeah we're going to release new game modes but Sadly, they haven't, like, they could have just um, added one more game mode or whatever, and just it could have been, like, six-on-six, six, like, ground war type deal, you know what I'm saying, but they haven't done that, but in the, um, the article on the uh, website, you actually see the two multiplayer maps that they're talking about. One kind of looks like Refinery mixed with, um... I would say marketplace, but I can't get a good look at it because they only have like two screenshots of it. And then the other one, it just looks like you're in some kind of town, but they look good. Go ahead and check them out in the description. And let me get to the last update, uh, update number six, which will just be working towards um, the support of uh, Vita TV and stuff like that. So that's all update six is. But so expect update three within a few uh, a few weeks. Update uh, 4 will be in January, and then after that, it will definitely be the uh, the mark of the you know, the free maps and stuff like that. I can't wait for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about it. And that is it, guys. Tyrogue is out. Hope you guys enjoyed it.